देर आर थ्री प्राइमरी प्राइमरी रेसेस इन द वर्ल्ड थ्री प्राइमरी रेसेस इन द वर्ल्ड वन इज कॉल्ड मंगोलॉइड रेस वन इज कॉल्ड कॉकोसियन रेस एंड वन इज कॉल्ड निग्रोइड रेस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट निग्रोइड रेस निग्रोइड रेस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मेडिटेरियन मेडिटेरियन और आई एम सॉरी इक्विटोरियन और इक्विटोरियन लाइन इक्विटोरियन रेस मीन्स इट इज बिटवीन कैंसर कैंसर लाइन एंड कैप्रिकॉन लाइन द सेंट्रल पार्ट वे सन रे फॉल्स डायरेक्टली ऑन द ऑन द अर्थ विथ नाइंटी डिग्री देर निग्रॉइड रेस इज फाउंड मीन्स द स्किन इज डार्क बिकॉज ऑफ द सन लाइट स्किन इज डार्क एनी वे ह्यूमेन इज सेम आईर इज दिस और देर ह्यूमेन इज सेम बट सिंस द पोल्यूशन ऑफ सन द दिस people they have found around the equator above the equator below the equator till cancer line until capricorn line this strip is on the earth people are typically dark in color this is also called negroid rays and we saw in negroid rays there are two poles one pole is australian pole austro pole and another pole is african pole and there are migration if same rays exist at two places there certainly there will be migration god has made like this certainly there will be a migration for that migration for for that migration there is a path god has made it so between australia and africa the path the path to go to for migrating the the uh, negroid race people is the india knowingly unknowingly it is india indian subcontinent and along the who guides this migration is himalaya himalaya starts from turkey itself caucasian mountain hindu kush and then and then karakoram range and then it passes through mount everest that is greater himalaya then it goes till vietnam the full range is himalaya parallel range under it south to it this negroid race or some people also refer to as black race black race starts from africa is goes and it is maximum depth that is on south what someone can find that is india and south to it south to the cancer line people are dark only in india it can be considered as buffer zone and then it moves and then through thailand then through through bali and east timor reason and through pop new papua guinea then it enters australia and new zealand reason i am talking about full earth then from australia to south america the central region it goes through the polynesia so that is the path polynesians are also also dark dark and yellow in color cross of that so then it enters the kind of uh, brazilian reason but that said it is minimal maximum concentration is found in africa this is the path god has provided to the to the negroid race what about mongoloid race we are talking about mongoloid race and what is the path mongoloid race are also cuz this race is called mainly this race is the path we are talking about africa to australia full full path is along himalaya and full ocean is indian ocean so negroid indian ocean it is called it ocean belongs to negroid race indian ocean does not touch arctic it is still here only the way the negroid race is but we talk about mongoloid race then mongoloid race is primarily in asia and primarily in the eastern of the asia that is china is the or mongolia region that is or east siberia that region is considered as the thick mongoloid race mongoloid race the ocean that belongs to mongoloid race is specific ocean the biggest ocean belongs to mongoloid race mongoloid race as the name is means it is above cancer line primarily above the cancer line and till the arctic or below the capricorn line whatever but it is along the pacific ocean below the cancer line there is primarily there is no asia it is little bit vietnam and those places are there otherwise it is indian ocean only 
so asia is primarily above the cancer line only so cancer line above full china is there now this mongoloid race if mongoloid race belongs to pacific ocean then pacific ocean touches north america north america also i believe south america also but pacific ocean when we are talking about mongoloid race then primarily it is north to cancer or south to capricorn whatever it is now mongoloid race primarily it is north to cancer line but when it is on in asia when it is in america as per the theory if theory says that pacific ocean belongs to mongoloid race then mongoloid race must be in the america mongoloid race is in asia then it must be in america as per the fundamental indeed it is in america mongoloid race is in indeed in in america then what is the path of the migration mongoloid race would also migrate if black race is mongoloid race is migrating from africa to to australia through indian subcontinent that's why indian subcontinent continent people are dark mainly they are dark then if that is the case then mongoloid race how they transition how they migrate from the chinese region or mongolian region to the north america region that is called bering strait that connects siberia and alaska so there is a set of people they live there they are called yupik yupik people or they are also called unit people in inuit inuit people okay inuit people yupik people in canada they are called eskimo these are mongoloid people so this inuit people are yupik people along the along the western side of north america from the alaska is a is a is a sub region of yupik people 24000 uh, yupik tribe settlement is in alaska uh, along the siberia same side of the siberia around 1200 people are there people call it that these people came from asia because they look like a, they look like a mongoloid since they look like mongoloid so in north america people in north america people say that they these people they look like mongoloid they entered north america from asia red indian red indians if you see the concentration they are primarily in the western side of united states not in the eastern side western side along the pacific ocean and red indian maximum population they are mongoloid only so mongoloid is available in the western part of america western part of canada and then further alaska full strip is mongoloid because pacific ocean belongs to mongoloid and there is a transition happens through the bering strait bering strait is 85 km strip that is mostly it will be snow only it it will be snow i believe in summer time it would be little bit water would be there but people cross it since people are living along this side and that side of the bering strait people cross it not in the ice age now only people cross it yupik people who are the resident over there they are a human at the end right and their relative are that side this side that's why alaska belong to united states to russia earlier since yupik people are living this side and that side that region also belong to russia siberia that side also it was siberia only but it was far from moscow they sold it to america in 1867 and around i believe 17 million around 17 million million dollar or 1.7 million dollar something they sold it but now it will be due to depreciation it will be around 150 million dollar in 17 million dollar they sold the alaska to united states okay so that is the story so bering strait is the point through which the mongolian race they travel from the asian region to american region this yupik people they are not only in alaska they are not only there is a difference between red indian and yupik people though red indian also they are mongoloid but little bit they are different like mongolia country and, and china country people are different japanese all are mongolian japanese are different korean are different similar to there are different races inuit inuit yupik eskimo red indian little bit 
difference is there but all are mongolite based only yupik people who are in siberia they are in seattle or washington state washington state is northwest side of america and that side is along the pacific ocean and along the canada so that side full till the till the kind uh, kind of uh, the along the pacific ocean till uh, california these mongolite people are tribes are still there then through mexico and then through nicaragua then through western part of brazil full people mongolite people are there if you come below the cancer line then they will be crossed with the, the negroid people as per the fundamental of the the cancer line capricorn line and equatorial but above the cancer line that is the united states and canada full negroid people are there so bering street is considered as the kind of path that that negro that mongolite people take to migrate so asia is people generally consider asia is the continent of mongolite people europe is the continent of the white people caucasian people and africa is the is a continent of the negroid people but it's not true these races are spread across a particular region so mongoloid race it is spread from eastern of the asia primarily to the western side of north america and bering strait they keep crossing and now visa and passport this very very bad thing has come because human nature is migration human migrates from one place to other place then why, then how its immunity is powerful if you stay at only one place this address and that address people tend to die with the disease and this is what happened in corona people who felt they are way highly stable with the money and highly highly stable with the home and they only die people who were less stable with the money and less stable with the home those people only survive people who change with the scenario they only survive this is i believe fundamental of the of the nature so people who survive they are adaptable to the situation so this is the transition path or migration path for the mongoloid people we will talk about the transition path migration path of the white people also so it is considered at the center of the earth or equatorial equatorial area or equatorial line that is a, uh, that is a uh, african line the center of the earth that belongs to uh, negroid race the north part and south part it belongs to white race and yellow race that is mongoloid race east part typically it is called belongs to mongoloid race and western part typically it belongs to the caucasian race this is how it is so that we will see but this is how it is for the mongoloid race so mongoloid are resident of america also